let's take a look at this integral here. So uh, when we've been doing u subs so far, we've looked for a function and its derivative within the integral. And here, our candidate, it looks like for our function is going to be 5x plus 3. It's not so obvious where its derivative is. But its derivative is really just going to be this dx here. And of course, we'll, have, we'll, we'll probably have a constant we have to adjust for. So let's just see that in action. Let's see that happen. So we'll say let u equal 5x plus 3 du will then equal 5 dx. And of course we can divide that 5 over, so let me just do that uh, right now. So this will be, we divide the 5, so this is really 1 fifth du equals dx. Okay, easy enough. We, we can go ahead and do our integral now. And this will be the integral of u, the square root of u, or in other words, u to the 1 half, times 1 fifth du. So we, we just substitute it in for u and dx. Uh, and now we'll bring the 1 fifth outside. So this is 1 fifth the integral of u to the 1 half du. And now this is a relatively simple integral. In fact, I'll leave it to you to, to finish that off. We've done plenty of integrals just like that. Okay, no problem. Now I want to change something. What if I add an x in here? Well, that's going to be a, a little bit of a problem. Because if we, if we try this same substitution, let's, let's just see what happens if we try that same substitution. The integral becomes x, because we never took care of that x, times u to the 1 half times 1 fifth du. In fact, let me just bring the 1 fifth out front. So times du. So what we really need to do is we need to figure out a way to take this x and substitute it for, for something with u in it. Because we can't, we have an x here, but our integral is saying integrate with respect to u. So we, we really, we can't have this x here. Well, lucky for us, we have this equation. And we can just solve for x. So we'll subtract 3 and then divide by 5 and we'll just end up with u minus 3 over 5 is equal to x. And now we can take that and we can plug it in for our x. So when we do that, we'll end up with 1 fifth. Actually, let me do it below where I have more room. So this will be 1 fifth, the integral of u minus 3 over 5 times u to the 1 half du. And now it's just a matter of, of simplifying and, and doing this integral. And you know what, why, why don't we go through that? Can't hurt. So I'm going to pull this. 1 fifth inside, I'm going to pull that outside. So this will become 1 25th u minus 3 times u to the 1 half du. And now I'll distribute the u to the 1 half inside. So 1 25th times the integral of uh, 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves minus 3 u to the 3 halves du. And now this again is just, uh, oh, not 3 halves, sorry. I wrote a 3 halves there, but I meant 1 half. And now again, this is just a, a, a simple power rule. 
And if you're comfortable with doing the power rule and, and doing the integral from this point, then that's great. Go ahead and do that. Um, if not, I'll finish it out for us here. So this is going to be 1 25th times uh, u to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves minus 3 u to the 3 halves divided by, well, maybe I'll write it like this, divided by 3 halves, all plus c. And now we can just simplify the fractions a little bit and plug in for u, and we'll be done. So this will be 1 25th uh, times 2. And then u was 5x plus 3, remember? So we're plugging back in for u. Actually, let me give myself a little more room. I don't want, to get, I don't want it to get too messy. Oop. What the heck is going on? Sorry, my, uh, my pen tablet or the software or something is kind of acting up here. Okay, 1 25th. Uh, times 2 times 5x plus 3 to the 5 halves all over 5 minus 3 or sorry minus 2 uh, times 5x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus C so make sure you see how I got that step it was just uh, multiplying by the reciprocal of the fractions in the denominator and plugging in what u is. u was 5x plus 3. Okay, see you in the next video.